Hello and welcome comrade, I'm Gerald and this is part 2 of A New Republic is Born, the first campaign for workers and resources Soviet Republic. In case you missed the first part, there is a link to the playlist in the description of the video. In the previous episode we finished with the first task given to us by the government, urban planning basics and we have our first little residential area set up which I actually like a lot. I also love how these buildings look like. I think I'm going to concentrate on brick buildings for most of the playthroughs. And also, I think the game in general looks super cool, although obviously the Soviet architecture is, uh, I don't know, uh, very grim. <laughs> but still, I enjoy looking at this. All right, let's see what there is for us for today. So we have basics of agriculture, emergency, Soviet university, coal mining. I don't think that's that important right now considering that we just have this setup. Coal mining is fine and agriculture as well, but we're kind of supplying everything that we need at the moment for our residents. So I think I'm super interested in the Soviet university and that's probably going to teach us about research a lot. So let's do that. Build institutions that will educate our people into proper Soviet citizens. And maybe this is going to unlock uh, education as well. Greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arina Sokolova, our Soviet Republic's Minister of Propaganda. Oh, <laughs> okay. My role is to ensure unwavering government loyalty among our people, spreading the ideals of unity, progress and dedication to our beloved nation. Ah, good words. Comrade, our next objective is to construct the headquarters of the Communist Party. Oh, okay. So not a university, but propaganda. <laughs> headquarters of the Communist Party represent the pinnacle of the progress of our Soviet Republic. Its successes relies on the contribution of highly educated workers who engage in diverse research programs and impact knowledge to nurture future experts. Now, our objective is to have a minimum of 15 highly educated party officials, teachers, working at the headquarters of the Communist Party. Their expertise and guidance will play a crucial role in shaping our nation's future. Okay, I guess uh, good to know. Build the headquarters of the Communist Party. Okay, we shall do that. So state infrastructure. We have emergency, hospitals and clinics. That's cool, I guess we will need to build that as well. I don't know if it's going to be in this uh, episode, but hopefully. Fire stations, we have a bunch. Uh, we have education here for the children, but we don't have the education turned on, which is interesting. Orphanage as well. Medical University, Technical University headquarters. And University Hall residences. Ah, so this is the dorms for the students. Nice. And we have the jails here, but that's also not turned on. Maintenance, city accounting office. Ah, that's probably where you can see a lot of uh, information about the, the Republic. There's something about seasons that we cannot see what it is. And pollution monitoring station. Okay. Headquarters. Oh, we have two of them. We have a tiny one. I mean, it's not that tiny, but I guess it's small. Just a building with uh, some offices maybe or something like that and ooh, and this uh, gigantic building which costs 160,000 this is the one that we have to build I guess well, I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if we need do we want to do that because here we have many more students but Considering that our population is very low, I think we can go with the small one and I will see, maybe we can change that in the future. Okay, uh, this doesn't have a road connection, which is super interesting to see. Mm. Do I care exactly where I'm going to put it? Uh, maybe we can put it here. Like this. Okay. Let's uh, go with faster speed. Wow, it's building. Rain in January. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but seasons are not uh, turned on. 
actually. Headquarters of the Communist Party represent the pinnacle of the Soviet uh, of the progress of the Soviet Republic. Its success relies on the contribution of highly educated workers who engage in diverse research programs and impart knowledge to nurture future experts. Now, our objective is to have a minimum of 15 highly educated party official teachers working in the headquarters of the Communist Party. Their expertise and guidance will play a crucial role in shaping our nation's future. Okay. Have at least 15 party officials at the headquarters. Aha, uh -huh, so this is our highly educated people. And this is our basic educated people. Yeah, these guys have university education. Cool, cool, cool. So if we let it play, we will get more, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and now we are going to go down in um, unemployment, I'm pretty sure as well. Comrade, having enough party officials in place enables us to undertake crucial research initiatives. I propose prioritizing the party member ranking research as our first step, allowing us to swiftly reward our most loyal party members and inspire others to strive for greater loyalty. That lady has a lot to say, no? Okay, so what can we do in this building? Minimal government, so the typical things here we have like the... Oh! So the other buildings are somehow not connected. Oh, I see why. Now they should be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we will get more. Uh, so we can decrease and increase. See that. Rename the building and make the building. Ah, another building transpired. Okay. Minimal government loyalty for employees. If workers' loyalty is unknown, is allowed to work because we have set it at zero. Okay. So I guess you can filter people here for the employees and minimal government loyalty for students as well who is going to be allowed to learn things here. Prefer students according to education. Hmm. So you can also, I guess, limit them by either they have education or not. Okay. Available research. In the party headquarters and university window, you can determine the number of highly educated workers assigned to research. Some of these skilled individuals will be engaged in educating future experts, while others can be dedicated to vital research projects. By finding the optimal balance, we strengthen both our education system and our capacity for innovation, advancing the Soviet Republic towards greatness. Okay, but we have to first search. Okay, so that's the research tree. Oh, that's, that's a lot of things, man. Uh, so, medical university, technical university, party headquarters. White, blue, red. Aha! So, everything that is covered uh, with the white, I don't know if that's white, but let's call it white, background, that's researched in the medical university. The blue things are in the technical university, dry doctor science, engineering, uh -huh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, pipeline pressure. Ah, that's so cool. So there is like some very technical things, but also this research here can only be extended if you want to, uh, let's say, have a pipeline connection with Western countries only through political activity, which makes a lot of sense. And what is this? Grand monuments, concrete utilization. So technical stuff, but the last step is always related to the party as well. Amazing. I love it. Television setup, influence of television broadcast. Nice. What is this? Cars for loyal citizens, education for loyal citizens. Okay, we will have to read what's what with time. Obviously, we're not going to learn everything today. Cool, cool, cool. Very nice. So this is the available research and this is the research tree. Okay. So we have air traffic study, tourism logistics fire prevention yeah i don't think we need any of those at the moment so let's just click on that one so that now is the chosen research and we have 20 maximum working on that and they were taken from here right i think this was maximum 40 so if we increase that that's going to go down okay that makes sense so we can choose to have everyone here i imagine yeah but this we cannot click as Oh, usually, I guess. No. Okay. So this is only with the buttons. We cannot click on it. 
Well, let's have everyone on the research. Or, or... Or not. Let's keep some people here as well. Ah, it's so stupid. Why you cannot click it, man? I, it would have been nice to be able to click it as well. Because now... Uh, can I... 7... 12... Okay, let's keep it 7.32. That's fine. Okay, let's play it now. Students waiting for party officials. Nice. Complete party member research. Oh no, actually, you know what? That's going to take forever, so let's add everybody here. No one is going to be in auditorium at the moment. And as you can see, our uh, unemployment is uh, falling still. Because we got 120 people here. And 120 people here. That's 240 people working only in this building. At full capacity. So now you can see what I was talking about. And in the meantime, let's check how sports is doing. Maybe we don't need that many people here. But still, let's... Um, we, <laughs> we have still 50% unemployment. So let's keep everything at max. No one is going to the cinema, apparently. Okay. Let's keep this one over here. They do go to the bar, though. You know what, let's actually add this to the max as well. In here as well. So that we lower the unemployment. Limit the amount. Actually, you know what, can we get... Percentage, you know... Uh, there was a... Percentage... Percentage... Percent one. How much do I want? I want this to be three one one. No, no, that's percentage. So if you click hold L control to open with zeros, uh huh, zeros. But there was also another another way to do this. Mm. Clear all percent. No. Okay, let's leave it like that. I want this one to have more. This one will be 50. And this one will be... yeah, like that. Something like that is better. Okay, let's give it a little bit more so that it doesn't complain. Unemployment too high. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I'm trying to deal with this. How is our happiness? Our happiness is pretty good, actually. 97. Nice. When unemployment is uh, at 36%, we started at, what was it, 80? We're almost done with this research. The problem is that we have alcoholics. <laughs> Oh my god, 23%. Maybe we should just delete the alcohol. You know what? Let's do that. No more alcohol for you guys. Sorry. Complain to the... Church. Which we don't have. <laughs> Why I cannot... There. Okay. Are we done? Almost. Okay. Comrades, the next imperative research we must undertake is the establishment of the secret police. With their vig vigilance, we can effectively monitor citizens' loyalty, allowing us to identify and select the most devoted individuals for key roles like teachers. Without the secret police, our ability to gauge citizens through loyalty will be limited. Let us move forward with the determination to build a stronger and more cohesive Soviet Republic. Secret police. 
Expected research, 900 workdays. Outlines the foundation for a new police division tasked with monitoring citizens and party loyalty. After this research, a secret police force can be established to accurately go citizen loyalty to the Soviet cause. Okay. We can do that. Hmm. In the meantime, how are we doing? We do have space in these uh, buildings, for sure. Well, while this is uh, happening, maybe we can uh, add a warehouse here to actually store these things. Why not? Hmm, where is the storage now? Trees. Waste. Hmm. Food and alcohol crops. This is factory storages. Fossil fuels. Storages. Well, you basically have it in a few places, I think. And they're the same storages, right? Like, that's a warehouse. Uh, no, this is the aggregates. And here is where you have the other storages. Ah, cargo and storage. Liquid dry bulk cargo. Okay, storages. Ah, here as well. There you go. Okay. So we have a warehouse. We have a bunch of options, as you can imagine. Grain storage. And what is this? This record. Ah, this is with rail connection. That's a lot of options, man. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> okay. Uh, where were we? Open storage. Uh, warehouse. So we have a tiny one. That's the tiniest one, right? I think so, yeah. Hmm, where do we connect it? So that it makes the most sense. Maybe here makes sense, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we even get the auto connection here. Which is fine. Uh, let's do it like that. Okay. And while this is happening, I will set up a come on this road. Okay, this is fine. And what we're going to do here, uh, I think I'm, I want a distribution office as well. Uh, which is where... I forgot. Networks. Heating, plumbing, electricity, waste. General cargo. Storages, liquid, and unlock distribution. Oh, we need a research for this bullshit. Maybe we should build ourselves a university then. Or that has to happen in the future, maybe. Okay, for now, if we cannot do that, uh, we can buy vehicles. Oh my god, everything is different, so I don't remember what, what is things at in road, yeah? We need road vehicles, so this has to be argument depots. Road vehicle depot, okay. Let's take a small one. Cool. I guess we can put it here, I don't mind. And we can buy... Uh, no. So I need to bring... I think it's a uh, closed, not open how. Mm. No blow dumper, no, where it is? No, it's not open how. It's road roller, so sorry, waste. Covered how. Okay, we need this one. Uh, this one can bring six. Okay, 6.5 of most of the things we need. Uh, food, clothing, and electronics, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's buy this one. And what he's going to do... Does he have fuel? No, so fuel is not enabled. He is going to... Buy things from the... Border and bring them to the warehouse. Okay, so... Uh, 
load what is it not components electronics loadings clothing clothing clothes <laughs> and food okay and here he's going to unload everything um oh that's it set line okay that's it start and we also need to buy i think it's a refrigerated vehicle for oh man i didn't do that right that's why it's taking so long sorry about that we are going to buy what is it uh refrigeration meat there we go so this guy this guy is going to do exactly the same from here to here and he's going to do meat he cannot do anything else so let's go um and here we are going to oh this one actually cannot have meat right so where is meat stored? Uh, so wh why did he say that he's going to do it? It's beyond me. Auto depot. And delete from this line. Mm, some other type of storage then. Warehouse. Ah, meat storage there. Meat storage. Small one. Okay, but now my connections are not going to work, right? Oh no, they would? Would that work? Hmm. What if I connect it to the warehouse? <laughs> would that work as well? I don't know. That would be weird. Um, maybe we need a different solution here. Meat storage. Uh, we're going to do this. And then we're going to cancel this connection and we're going to establish the connection like that and this one too long that's impossible no don't tell me that game that's not possible. Ah, now we will have to sell the warehouse. Uh, yes. Stupid thing, but what can you do? Interesting how that uh, truck did not complain, but okay. So we are coming here and we are going to do... Our secret police research is a remarkable achievement and now we can establish the secret police to safeguard the loyalty and security of our beloved Soviet Republic. Build the secret police headquarters. Okay, let me just finish with what I was doing and then we can do that. Was it the small one? No, it was an even smaller one, right? The tiniest one. You see, it's not too long. There was another problem, but the game sometimes fucks with you, I guess. Okay, maybe we can do something like that. No, I want it here. What happens if I place it here? Can we do the factory connection like that? Yes, we can. Okay, awesome. Um, the question is, what is he going to do? Considering, yeah. There we go. Unload. Okay. So proceed. And here we are going to cancel this. And I hope that this is going to work as intended. Uh, clothes. Food. Electronics. And limit amount. Is that notify if empty? I want to have... Food at 
percent. Um, let's do it like that. Uh, this is this is foot, right? Foot will be five, and then we will have three. Wait, three, five, three, one, four. Wait, four, six. Perfect. There we go. That's it. Okay. Uh, great stuff. That's what I wanted to do. And now the other truck has to bring me the meat. Here. Here. Go. Okay, and hopefully that's going to have um, enough capacity for everything that we need. Hopefully. Okay, uh, let's continue. Secret police. Oh! So we unlock this. 13 small. I don't think... Why do... Why it always wants me to build the big ones? I mean, I'm pretty sure that a small one for our tiny town is going to be enough. Let's connect here in the same place. There we go. And employment is too high. Well, what can I do about that, comrade? Hmm, actually, let's see if we can... Air traffic. Practicing high-ranking members. Logistics. Hey, is this the distribution office thing? Logistics. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, we are going to do that. And we're going to do it fast. I don't care about... Okay, I will give you six. <laughs> That's fine. The secret police station is staffed with highly educated workers. It also holds a fleet of service vehicles, which will, will visit residential buildings to install and collect data from monitoring equipment. Through this meticulous process, we temporarily review the government loyalty level of citizens living in these buildings. Please click on the newly built building and purchase some vehicles for the secret police station. Okay. At least three duty vehicles in secret police, at least ten agents in secret police station. Are we going to have enough people? That's a very big question. Question. Uh, we have just 100. Uh, uh, it's questionable, right? Government loyalty. Uh, okay, let's buy. Does it matter which one? Travi! Hello, I know that car. <laughs> let's buy them the expensive ones then. This, that, and that. And let's see what happens. Missing agents. Uh, we need 10 agents, so let's just give it 10. And that means that here we might uh, decrease. <laughs> I do want this research though. Yeah, I don't think I will get it unless I decrease. Then, Okay, so we did it. To improve the loyalty of our students and future experts, we must raise the minimum government loyalty threshold for party headquarters employees to at least 50%. This ensures that our teachers exhibit higher loyalty, thus positively influencing the loyalty of those they educate. We must be cautious not to set loyalty values too high, as this could result in no teacher meeting the criteria, leaving students without proper education. Striking the right balance will ensure a well-functioning education system that fosters loyalty among the people. Okay. Increase minimum loyalty to 50%. Thank you all for your attention and dedication throughout this mission. I trust that the knowledge and insights shared will guide you to lead the Soviet Republic towards greatness. If you have any further questions, or need to recap of my advice, feel free to check the question and answer section. Together, let us shape a united and prosperous future for the Soviet Republic. Best of luck in your endeavors, comrade. Okay, higher education. So this is probably going to change the setting of the game. Interesting. Okay, so... Aha, uh -huh, 100% government loyalty. Wow, she did it on her own. 
and that's for employees. But we still get that, huh? But they don't have 100%. I think um, we can do 70% and we will be fine. Okay. So how is our loyalty going? 59, 59, 59, 60. We're very similar to be honest. Okay, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's continue with the next one. I'm super interested, higher education. Build universities that will provide higher education for our citizens and create opportunity for scientific research. Sure, let's do it. Hello, Vera Vasilieva, the Minister of Education. I will be your guide to understanding the importance of universities and how they foster knowledge and expertise for our nation's progress. Okay. To accomplish our next objective, we must have at least 200 higher educated workers. The key to achieving this will be expanding our republic and inviting new expert immigrants to reside in existing or newly constructed residential buildings. Okay. Have at least 200 high university educated workers. Oh, this will be a problem. Uh, we can... This is almost full. They're making babies very fast, by the way. Hmm, let's see how we're going to do this because this one is kind of far already so I will have to build a few more buildings here and then Though that's not necessarily true, right? We can Yeah, let's see uh... Actually, let's continue by extending this road a little bit more first uh, Like that And then we can add a few more of our building. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't get citizens, thank you. Don't forget to click that button, otherwise it's going to get populated with citizens automatically. And not the ones that we need. Actually, I think that's going to be enough. One more building. Uh, let's also connect it to everything else. Okay, and now we can invite our experts. Ooh, 20 more? Okay. 105. The Technical University plays a vital role in our nation's development as it educates and trains new experts in technical fields. It also serves as a hub for conducting research and advancing technological innovations that drive Progress in the Soviet Republic. Build a technical university. Small or large? I don't think I have enough people for a large one, honestly. Ooh. And it's a big, big building, eh? Looks kind of nice, to be honest. No, but I don't think we need that. But okay, okay. Uh, the game wants me to do it, I will do it. Uh, okay, here in the central, most central part. Something like that. And we also need to connect some footpaths, I guess. Why not? Like this. And by the way... Ah, great. That's great. Can we do the same here? I kind of doubt it, to be honest. No. Too close I build these buildings. Yeah, it's accessible by everyone. Great. Cool stuff, cool stuff. This is very slowly to construct, which makes sense because it's kind of big. And it's expensive. But it's a nice looking building, so... Building student halls of residence provides a remarkable opportunity for our citizens to continue their education beyond the age of 21. Normally citizens would leave their parents' homes and begin working at this age. 
However, student housing gives them an option to reside there and pursue their studies at the university even after they turn 21. Okay. Build at least one student house or residence. Uh, house of residence. Sorry, my bad. 85. Cost per flat, quality of flats. So they are basically the same, just probably they look different. Yeah, this one has something on the front, if I'm not mistaken, and this one doesn't. Ah, and the connection is on the side. Ah, pretty cool. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think I like this one. We can actually build two. And make them connect here. Something like that. Yeah. And then we can add also the road. Like this. Okay. We of course of course we need to add some footpath here. Something like that. And okay, move. And connect this here and here and i'm starting to like it very much great um why don't we also extend this okay, up here and maybe like that well really you cannot connect here that must be a joke okay uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, whatever. We're going to leave it like that. Unless we just remove this part. Okay, that's fine. Ah, this bug is all still in the game. <laughs> okay, populate the student of her residence with a minimum of 25 students. To achieve this, open the residential buildings window and use the icon at the top of the window to move citizens. Selecting the student homes as their destination. Let us expand our knowledge base and nurture future experts at the prosperity of the Soviet Union. So, so we... Uh -huh. Okay, I think I got it. So I have to take uh, people from here. Allocate up to 10 citizens to residential building yourself. Allocate up to five citizens. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. By the way, how is this doing? It's doing five. We have too many electronics, it appears. Uh, yeah, now it's going to just hold these electronics here. That's the stupidity of this setup. Until we have a distribution office, we will have to deal with it. You see, now we don't have people here. Because everyone is working in other places. For example, the Technical University. For which, by the way, we have not set up any um, research. What do we research then? Oh, nuclear. You see, you need a ton of people if you're going to do uh, all of this. Like, I have 1000 residents and I can barely have my... A building stuffed. This is 75 people, so you need 200 and 300 um, almost highly educated people to have this on three shifts. Concrete utilization. Broadcasting. Curious which one would be more. Steel recycling, aluminium recycling, fertilization. Probably this. Why not? Airport infrastructure, fuel processing, study on the impact of fertilization on, you, on field yields. Let's do this one. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, let's also balance things out and have like 20 people here. All of them, I guess, most of them doing that. And then we can have some people here as well. Yeah, I think... I think that's okay. Actually, let's keep these guys up to three and 
Each of them can have a car. <laughs> I like that. Alright. Unless I just buy myself a few more, right? Some experts here, some experts here, some experts here, and here, and here. Cool stuff. When you have a lot of money, you don't care. <laughs> okay, now, uh, considering that we are going to move people as well, or locate up to 10 citizens. One, two, three. We can also buy a few more experts. Research programs play a pivotal role in our nation's growth. I highly recommend conducting two key researches. Metallurgy study and steel production. These initiatives will unlock the ability to manufacture steel, providing us with a strong foundation for industrial progress. Let us dive into this richer and pave the way for a more robust and resourceful Soviet Republic. Okay, so I made a mistake. Yeah, we will cancel it. So it was, what was it? Metallurgy study and steel production. Steel, which one is that? I don't... Ah, introduction to metallurgy. A foundational study of metallurgy focusing on the behavior of metals and alloys. Okay, let's add everybody here. Uh, maybe we only a few actual professors. Uh, and this should be higher, I guess. Let's make it 50%. I don't think we care about the students as much. Okay, are we having enough people? Kind of, but not really. Five workers without a job. And we have limited the unemployment to 21%, which is great. How is this going? It's not going great. Maybe I can add one more building. Ooh, we are low on food. But it should be getting the food from the other side, right? He should, he should. He still has a ton of electronics. I will just have to sell this vehicle eventually. Okay, now we have to wait. For the research to be done. Maybe we can speed up the process. Maybe. We have a bunch of meat, and we're going to have a little bit more now. Empty hole storage. What happens if I empty it? Does it get salt? I don't think so, right? <laughs> Okay, we need more people here. This is almost at the max. I could buy a few more experts here and there. Yeah, and we are almost at the maximum. Some people will be homeless <laughs> eventually when we have too many babies. Oh no, we are low here, very low. Okay, we need more buildings. I think I can add one more without losing the access to the buildings. So, where were we here? Okay, let's put it one more. Boom. Now we just need this. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I fucked up. Don't get citizens, please. Okay, and now we can take immigrants. There we go. Do you have access to everything? Yes, you do. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now we should get more here as well. Hopefully.
Yeah, we are running out of food. Definitely not out of meat. But when I have the... Um, when I have the distribution office, it's going to be much easier. You know what? Let's get everybody here. We're not going to educate anyone in ideology for the moment. What? Why do I have people with university education here? I have too many. <laughs> oh my god, I have too many smart people. <laughs> also, I don't think we need that many here. Yeah, this is only one. Actually, this football field is much better because you can limit the amount of workers here. Okay, that's going to help for sure. Um, and here, sellers again, why do we have... Like, that's, that's fucked up. Why I cannot limit who comes to work here? Okay, let's decrease here as well. This is, this is much better. That's going to make sure that the higher educated people don't come here. I don't care about uh, unemployment at the moment. Who cares if it goes? Ah, we finished the first one. Okay. Uh, steel production. Steel material fatigue study. Research into how different steel alloys are act to cyclic stresses. Stronger steel will be a key factor in engineering projects like production lines, pressurized pipes and cableways. That's it, right? Okay. It should be. I think so. Zero out of 100. Steel production research. No, it's not that. Did I fuck it up or something? Ah, steel production design. There you go. Steel production. Oh my god. Develop a blueprint for steel mill where we will be able to turn iron and coal into steel. Okay, that's the one. And let's add everybody there. Here we're still not having enough people. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So, uh, okay, this is tough. We don't care about the stuff so much. But we have max 75. Why can I get to the max? I don't get it. Max 75. What does that depend on? Okay, whatever. Um... This is 45, so that's 135 people here. And 120 more here. Well, actually, that's not as many. We have 378. So, where are the rest going to work? Basic education. They have different icons for some reason. Because of the you know, average productivity, 115. Basic education, food. What's the difference between this guy and that guy? Age 39. Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, we, we can have the distribution office soon enough. Thank god for that. Maybe this is the problem. Yeah, potentially that was the problem. Yep. I, I, yeah, that was the problem. <laughs> I completely fucked myself. I shot myself in the foot with that one. Research finished. Okay. Uh, distribution office. Everybody go to the research, please. I completely shot myself in the foot with that percentage of loyalty because apparently, yeah, the majority are not that loyal, so don't 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 play too much with that if you want to make things faster. And the meat is growing, so they're not eating that much meat. The food is not growing, which is a big problem. Hmm.
Bro, can you can you discard all cargo? Yes. And I want you to do uh load just just load me some food because we are going to starve to death. Honestly. Until I get my distribution center. Max 40, okay. Uh, some of the buildings are already full. They have a radio. People are not buying a ton of electronics. That's their choice. Yeah. We are running low on food. How are we doing here? This is 40... 51%. Actually, I can check it up there, so... It's alright. Okay, distribution office. Go, go, go! Very important building, distribution office. Helps with these deliveries like that one, for example. And we're going to have a ton of meat here. <laughs> Notify if empty. I guess this is very nice things to, to have. Uh... Notifications for situations like that one. Okay, we finally have food. We're not going to starve to death. Oh, we have some shoppers in front of the shop. Uh, okay, let's uh, solve that problem. I guess people are going to... Uh, to shop at the same time. <laughs> I think we having 20 here is better now. Cinema is doing okay. I don't think we are having problems here neither. And these guys only can have up to one, right? So yeah. Max one, max four. Okay. Oh, so this one is going to get there faster. Come on, come on. And we can place a distribution office finally. By the way, where was the distribution office again? Uh, distribution, yeah. Yes, baby. Thank you. Uh, parking spots for vehicles. I don't want a free one. Let's put this one. Or no, actually, let's let's put the big one. Why not? Why not? Who can tell me that I cannot do that? Hmm? Let's put it over here. Can we get the connection and green at the same time? No. Okay, we're going to do it ourselves then. Like this. And now I can delete these two vehicles. Cell uh, vehicle, yes. And the other one as well. By the way, uh, do I have a line manager? I should be. List of lines. Show all. Can I open? Open cell. Ah, so the line doesn't exist after that. Okay, good. Uh, okay, while this distribution office is getting constructed, now we have to purchase again. We need refrigeration, one of those. And we need a uh, covered cow. Yeah, I think we can get one of those. And how are we doing here? things here add a new connection no not on load but load here you can load the meat loading food and electronics and these are your two destinations so i want the storage percent to be what storage percent do we want uh, 
Let's keep it at... Oh, this I have to increase because if he just brings electronics, yeah. Let's keep it at this. And the storage percentage has to be lower than 30, I think. Yeah, 30% is fine. So you see, now they are not doing anything. Because I have more than 30% of these things. There is a small problem here, I think, though. Uh, I don't know if he's going to take in consideration um, each of them, 30% of them, but we'll see, we'll see. Well done, comrade. Your dedication to research has been exemplary. Remember, universities should be engaged in continuous research to increase our nation's understanding and abilities. As our Soviet Republic might possess valuable natural resources beneath the ground, I highly recommend conducting the geological faculty research. This will enable us to see where these resources are laying the groundwork for even greater prosperity. Ah! Oh, okay, so uh, that was it. Okay, let's do what she recommended. Um, what did she say? Geology faculty, right? Pollution, broadcasting... Concrete, fuel... Yeah, it should be that one. Establish establishment of a geology faculty to enhance knowledge of minerals like bauxit and uranium. Okay, let's do that. And again, let's put maximum capacity. Well, maybe we can leave some now. Um, hmm. Storage, storage. Meat, electronics, yeah, all of them. Yeah, actually, I guess I don't have to do anything. So the storage percentage is 30 here. Values. Vehicles and loot carried to buildings when building storage are filled to a lower percentage than this. Well, it already is, isn't it? Okay. We shall see, we shall see. I would expect it to go by now. Still not going. Vehicle is transporting. Something is wrong here. Something is very wrong. Assign distribution offices. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm aware. Shopping center. Storage percentage. 40%. And this one as well is below 30? No, I don't think so. Okay, we shall see. That's uh, very interesting. What this? What is this guy doing? Loading meat. Large customs house, small shopping center. Did I add another building or something? No. Small shopping center. Ah, no, I clicked the wrong button. It has to be this one. Oh my god, that was the problem. Electronics, clothing, food. There you go. And the meat storage, 30%. Okay, I clicked the, the wrong... Ah, and they're in green. Oh, okay, okay. For you to see which ones you have added. Great. Here is where, where I will wrap it up for today. I'm thrilled to see how much the developers have expanded their research tree and can't wait to unlock all of it. What about you? How did you like the continuation of the campaign in our first university? The comment section is all yours to share, but also don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with the bell turned on. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.